Welcome back, villains, to some more Pokemon Team Rocket Edition. Last episode, we made our way to Victory Road. We took down Andra, we took down Blue. Giovanni told us about the secret, um, well, the special training facility in the Team Rocket base, and we just uh, grinded up so much. Now we're in the 60s, which we're, I think, ready for the Elite Four. We also got Stone Edge, and we got the Assault Vest from uh, two characters that we had to speak to before because they wanted to battle us with eight badges. Then uh, we got the eight badges and managed to get all that stuff, which is great. Now we're going to make our way from Victory Road, get to the Elite Four and uh, see what's going to happen next. Okay, so the... Oh! Victory Road here looking a little bit different than it usually does. Uh, I'm going to run away from you. And I think we'll lead off with maybe Crobat. Not too sure Pokemon's best to lead off with here. But let's... Oh, it moves a lot different. So I remember like an item in the top right. Uh, rare candy or like a potion, I'm pretty sure. So let's take you on. And level 42 should be pretty easy. Like, probably would be a good idea to actually just make our way through Victory Road first, then go to the training facility, because we're going to get some experience from finding all these trainers, and I fought so many chances. I've got so much experience. And all this experience here we're going to get is, I mean, it's still a little bit. We might grow a level, or maybe two. Yeah, but this is what I remember. I. Oh, I haven't taught anyone strength. Uh, someone has to learn strength because I want to get this. Oh, I'm sorry, Houndoom. I can get rid of Scorching Sands now because we've got Earthquake on Nidoking. King. Don't really need a ground type move, but let's push this. Which way are we going to go for? I feel like the rare candy is this one. No, Dragon Claw. I mean, Dragon Claw is still good. Dragon Claw could actually be really helpful against Lance. So who wants to learn Dragon or who can learn Dragon Claw? No one. <laughs> oh, never mind then. Alright, uh, if I just quickly leave and come back, that should reset and get the other item. Like, I think it's a rare candy, if I'm if my memory is correct. I mean, last time I tried getting this, it was a very long time ago. Alright. Yeah, rare candy. Nice. Take you out. Wish I'd repels, but... I'm pretty sure there was none at the rocket base. Well, I didn't see any anyway. But I can see you're good. Let me see exactly how good. Eh, I'm, I'm pretty decent. Pretty decent. Uh, see you flying. I think we're strong enough where we can probably like one shot everything. Let's go, Crobat. Let's go, Crobat. Too good. Way too good. We also still have so much money left as well. Like we have 650,000. <laughs> we are so rich. Uh, let's just run away. I think a lot of these like strength puzzles are on the like, little switches they're supposed to be, right? My thing of a different victory road. All the trains around here are gonna get absolutely smashed. No Moltres in here either, because obviously Moltres is now a Mount Ember. In the original games, it was in Victory Road, which I, you know, I kind of like the idea of Moltres being in Victory Road, but I also find it kind of weird that like I don't know, I, I never like seeing the birds inside a building. I think it would be like kind of cool if they're like in a place where they could easily like fight in and out of. Obviously, it looks like we're in a cave and fire bird in a cave just seems a bit odd to me. Uh, that's the wrong Pokemon, but it doesn't really matter anyway because it's a level 41 drowsy. <laughs> Aqua Jet, yeah, nice. And Aqua Jet you again. No, easy peasy. Oh, you're gonna live like one HP. Lucky you. Lucky you. Which way do you want to go? Let's get the items, just in case. I'm not sure we can really really find around here, but anything that might help us with uh, the Elite Four would be good, because I feel like they're going to be very difficult to beat. I mean, like, level-wise, our team is good. I think now, anyway. <laughs> like, I think 60 is the right level, because Blue was like, oh, I want to get to level, like, 60-ish. So I think, yeah. That should be alright. And Andra was pretty tough. Oh, leftovers. Uh, leftovers actually kind of good. I'm gonna give this Vile Plume. Vile Plume learned Leech Seed as well. So now we got Sleep Powder. We got Leech Seed. We got Giga Drain. Leftovers. Hopefully this Vile Plume is not gonna die. We can just, uh, yeah, live forever. Got to get this as well. An impressive trainer was here not too long ago. Which one's that? I'm assuming surely like. We've got to fight Red as the champion. I'm thinking 
we've got to get be like the last one out for like the whole group to um take on the Elite Four. Obviously blue will be first, become champion, get beaten by red, and then we come along, and then we beat red, become champion. Unless we lose to red and then see what happens. Because this game is it's following the uh, the fire red story pretty well. And obviously red stays champion, I, I assume, unless they're going to change it here. That's going to be exciting to see. Another right turn. Overheat, sweet. So I'm pretty sure this is where Moltres used to be. Yeah, like right here. You want to fight, sir? Yes, you do. Get through here, you can go meet the Elite Four. Nice. Mud slap you, lick of tongues, keep mud slapping. Let's go Electro for this. Nope, I keep forgetting. So when I was grinding, um... Electrode, I couldn't really Thunderbolt the Chansey, so I switched Thunderbolt and roll it around. I'm so used to Thunderbolt being the first move, I keep just spamming it real fast. Uh, which way do I want to go? Let me call you, actually no, wait. Let me lead off with Electrode. And then next time we get into a fight, I switch it around. So I can fight this lady here. And then we'll just quickly switch Thunderbolt and roll out. There you go, now I can just spam it a lot faster. There we go, much better, much better. Go. Level 63, baby. Yeah, it's like fighting these trainers. Easy, easy, but like it's, it's kind of worth it just to get that like extra one level. Too I think everyone's kind of grown a few levels. It's not too bad. Oh, uh, like no PP left. Parasite, got Houndoom, Fire Fenya. Oh yeah, bring me them Grass type Pokemon. Bring me all them Grass type Pokemon. <laughs> Oh, nice. And then we'll fight you as well. King Oh, nice. Did you have water Pokemon for us? Because that's going to be fantastic. I think you do. <laughs> oh, this is great. This is great. Just keep Thunderbolt in. Sweet. So, where are we now? Do we want to drop down there? I think maybe we do. I think we go up here. Yeah, because I fight you two. And I think we're pretty much at the end. Screecher and Giga Dream. I really didn't think Giga Dream was going to one-shot yet, but... Cool. Wait. Why do you want to fight me? At the end. So moves of recall damage are incredibly strong, uh, but they come with their risks. Double Edge is known for its powerful yet risky nature. While well, I'd be happy to teach you, I've already instructed someone else. However, I can offer you an alternative, provided you demonstrate your worthiness. It's not something I give out lightly. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll fight you. Why not? Let me see what we get. Uh, let's go roll out. Ooh, that earthquake though. Earthquake doing some damage. Oh, you actually live? I, I thought I'd like pick you out. Uh, I should have switched here. So I don't have the Scorching Sands no more. <laughs> oh, and before I keep messing up and we lose. Get the green. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Nido King, yeah, we can stay so we know we can take you out. Never mind, you outspeed me. I'll show you a true Nido King. There you go. Mine's much better. And I'll have to go boot up for this, and then we go Stone Edge. Nice. What move are we going to get? We're going to get... Oh, a Life Orb. Honestly, not bad. I don't know who to teach the... Well, teach that. Give the Life Orb to. We're finally out. And now we're going to be at the Indigo Plateau. Never understood this little bit here. Like, why is it all just like a little maze? Someone should clean that up. We've made it. Let's get healed up. Uh, let's talk to everyone in case we can find some Ven, but Agatha's ghost type Pokemon are horrifically terrifying in toughness. I took my fine type Pokemon and raised them to the max. When at Agatha, feeling pretty confident, but she whooped us. That old lady's also got a really short fuse, too. Doesn't take anything to get that scary lady hollering. Maybe become an elite four member is in, in, is in the blood. From what I've heard, Lance has a cousin who's a gym leader somewhere far away. Uh, sup? Don't know who you are nor where you come from, but that doesn't really care, kid. The championship has uh, has an owner. Indeed, I heard Lance saying that a kid from Pallet Town is destined to be the new champ. Can I buy items from you? Oh, I can actually buy items from you. Nice. That's good. Gonna get a few more things like some cool restores are nice. A few max potions. Got plenty of hypers. 
just in case later on, and then do you have repels? In case not that later on. We got plenty of money. Let's save the game and take on the Elite Four. So first up is Lorelei, so I think an Electrode should be fine. We have a lot of like part water types, but welcome to the Pokemon League. I'm Lorelei of the Elite Four. I have the feeling I've seen you somewhere before. Or not. Anyway, today has been a uh, tough day. I've never seen so many talents aiming to be the champion Tyler once. You better be good enough like them because no one surpasses me in training ice type Pokemon. Freezing moves are my specialty, and your Pokemon will be helpless with when that happens. Haha, <laughs> let's start. Alright, let's do it. I'm pretty sure you lead off with uh, Slowbro or Dugong. Yeah, let's Thunderbolt you. Level 54, so we're definitely a good level then. Probably a little bit over leveled. Oh, you got Pillar Swine. I was not expecting that. So Pillar Swine will go. Houndoom? Flame Thrower? Sweet. A little bit worried there. Oyster. Back into Electro. You ain't outspeeding us and we Thunderbolt. That should one shot you. Easy, easy. Jinx back into Houndoom. Oh, yeah, this is going so well. Slowbro back into Electrode. Houndoom and uh, Electrode show right now. Lapras, yeah, we stay in. And, ooh, you actually got one attack off. Well done, Lorelei. Well done. You didn't completely suck. This should not be like this. <laughs> oh, crap. Defeat once again. I think I need a vacation time at Flow Island. Go ahead, kid. The Pokemon League awaits you with some surprises. Okay. I'm going to use my rare... Actually, I'll save my rare candies for, um... For red. Get that last little bit of experience. So next is Bruno. Bruno, we should go with... I think you lead off with, um... Onyx, right? Let's go for Budops. You! Don't think that I forgot who you are. You're so lucky that mocking Team Rocket is trendy. The best disguise is the one that reveals your true self. Huh. I could disrupt the league by exposing your identity, but I won't because this time you won't escape. I'll unleash all my power and crush you right here before taking you on before taking you under arrest. Okay, you can try. Beat you once, Bruno, I can beat you again. Oh, Steelix. Uh, I mean, Surf should still be fine. Oh, you got Focus Sash. Oh, we're going for Stealth Rocks, that's fine. Sweet. Pokemon Lee, uh, let's... Gonna go Crobat. Yeah, we we'll take some damage by Stealth Rocks, but... Fly should be able to take out the rest of your team, I'm hoping. Machamp. Keep on flying. Yo, Bruno, remember my goal bat? It's a nice powerful crowbat now and it's absolutely destroying you. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, Bruno, you don't stand a chance, dude. You don't stand a chance. Nice. What? How could I lost? Because you suck, man. You made the worst decision possible. You could have surrendered right here and uh, spared yourself the torture that Lance is going to subject you to if you dare to get anywhere near the champion title. Someone like you will never be a champ. All you've done with this battle is delay the inevitable. Keep, keep going ahead. Every step you take gets you closer to your end rocket. Alright, so Agatha's next. And we'll just uh, crunch your whole team. So what do we have here? I don't like that style of wearing as a rocket. You don't mind if I said that, right? I'm Agatha of the Elite Four, the ghost type specialist. A type with lots of mysteries yet to be solved, and whose potential we still don't know. Despite that, Thanks to my decades of experience and hard training, I've managed to understand this type much better. Voltsy, I'll show you how a real trainer battles. Please do. Because the last two Elite Four members, poof, they sucked. <laughs> Alright, what do you got? Gengar. Let's just uh, crunch ya. Sweet. Marowak, let's go with File Plume. Giga Drain ya. I mean, like, level wise, they're getting up there pretty quick. Like, Agatha's almost in the 60s. And a Pokemon as well. <laughs> Agatha's probably is in the 60s, I would assume. I don't think she'd be in the 70s. Uh, let's. I don't know what would be best against this, to be honest. Go for Stone Edge. Oh, this Gengar giving me a bit of trouble. Oh no. Alright, uh, fly. 
Nice. Good job, Crobat. Good job. Just keep flying, man. This Crobat is just... It's too good. It's way too good. Get your own Crobat. Okay. Uh, I got definitely the strongest the Elite Four so far. Our oh, Bargard's easy. Earthquake that Nido... Earthquake Nido King. Got a berry to... Soften the attack, that's that's fine. And the Glammy. Or more earthquake. Oh, you get your own earthquake. But it's fine. My earthquakes a uh, higher magnitude. <laughs> so I haven't seen so much talent together since that uh, glorious era where the championship was contested between Oak and Jiv uh, uh Jiv uh, it's a pity that all of you will fall down miserably. I shouldn't tell you this, Faulty, but the political interest had crossed these walls. Lance is the champ and Kanto's dictator at the same time. Will never renounce his champ title against someone that could risk his reign. Once you know this, go to the next room. You still have the chance to let your Pokemon team speak on the battlefield. Right, let's get healed up. So no Lance leads off with a... Ooh. I don't remember. It's either a Aerodactyl or it's a... Um... Gyarados. I don't remember. I'm kind of hoping it's a... Aerodactyl. I think probably the best thing is Kabudops. You know, Stone Edge. Let's save the game in case something bad happens. We finally get to take on Lance. It's been so long. Saw him so long ago. Want to fight him and now we're finally here. Hey yo, how's it going? Cool room. Volti? Never heard about you. But as you know, I lead the Elite Four as the Kanto and Johto governments too. I would tell you that I'm the actual champ. However, that honor has just been taken away by two kids and a cheeky girl who, oh, like you, has the audacity to present herself to me in the, these ugly clothes. Still, the title of champion already has an owner. An unknown like you, it doesn't belong here at this point. It'll only take me, only take me to make some changes in my dragon army regarding previous battles to ensure that your little adventure in the league ends here with me. All right, so Andra defeated Lance, but can Andra defeat Red? That's the question. Right, yeah, can we defeat Lance? The Gyarados, okay, so let's uh, Stone Edge. And Earthquake. Sweet, we lived. And... Oh man, I can't take it out. I have to go for an Aqua Jet to do a little bit of damage. Oh, man, I was hoping that could be enough to take you out. Right, got to go into Electro so I can outspeed you and Thunderbolt finish you off. Sweet. I'm not gonna lie, not having a Kabudops for Lance is gonna suck. I think I'll go for a light screen. Okay then. That's not good. I don't know what to go for. Uh, this is a bit bad. Giga Drain. Oh my goodness, this is destroying me. Uh, fly. Dude, this Kingdra is absolutely deleting me. Come on, come on, Nido King. You gotta, you gotta take it out. Sweet. Right, Dragon Knight. Uh, this is bad. This is bad. I need to, like, revive. Let's go for the max revive. Let's get Kabutops through the Ice Beam. Oh, this is so bad, man. Got the freeze. Oh, I need to frosted seriously. I think I'm gonna lose to Lance. I need to think of a different strategy because this is that Kingdra deleted me so bad. Like you just got the earthquake and I'm dead. Or outrage. Right, Lance is tough. Okay, new strat. We're gonna go uh, sleep powder. The Gyarados. Leech Seizure. Gonna get rid of the paralysis. We're gonna wake up. Okay, that was a critical hit. Drain, get some HP back. Nice, nice. All right, we're drawing Gyarados. That's fine. All right now we got a switch. I want to go. I think if I can take a hit, Electro can just Thunderbolt and kill Charizard. You get a critical hit on me. Oh, that sucks. All right, uh, Nido King. Let's go for a Poison Jab. Another Poison Jab. Sweet. Kingdra coming out. Kingdra's a pain in the butt, but poison jab. Not bad. I think if I go. 
We need a Vile Plume. And we will revive the Nido King. Because I can just Poison Jab the Kingdra again. I should finish off. I'm going to sneeze in a second. <laughs> Bless me, sorry. Hey, FIFA season sucks, man. Nice. Alright, Garrow's coming back out. I think I can outspeed you, right? Nice! That was enough to take you out. Alright, Dragonite. Uh, let's go Kabudops. I'm gonna go for a Stone Edge, because Ice Beam didn't do enough. Hopefully Stone Edge can crit. Come on, come on, come on. It's not bad, I guess. Maybe the King, let's just Poison Jab. It's good damage. I'm gonna go Houndoom or revive Nido King. I'm actually surprised at Nido King's speed, I'll be honest. But it's working, man. It's working. Uh, Aerodactyl. Let's revive again, get Electro so we can Thunderbolt it. I don't one shot yet, that Earthquake's gonna kill me. Ooh, okay, okay. Crobat should be able to finish you off. Last one is a Dragon Air. Oh, I was fully really expecting Lance to have free Dragon Knight, but this is fine. That's good ops, and then you're confused. If you hurt yourself, we win. I don't want to. I don't want to risk it. I just. I don't want to risk it. Let's go poison jab, and we win. But oh man, Lance was tough. Only way I could win was reviving. I feel like I'd have to fight Lance at some point like when he has free Dragonites and the free beasts, but... So in Kanto, there were still trainers capable of challenging the power of a pseudo-legendary. I won't say that what you've done is, isn't commendable, but I had to say it now. We have a new champion. You, that other girl, and Oak's rebellious grandson can take a look if you want, because you've earned it. But against the rising talent from Pallet Town, Red, there's nothing you can do. You must have confirmed his position by easily defeating Blue already. Who arrived earlier? You can go ahead. Maybe if you arrive in time to see that massacre, you'll lose the desire to challenge our new champ. Uh, honestly, after how tough you were, I don't think I'm going to be able to beat Red. Here I was thinking my team was going to be banging after the start of the Elite Four, and then, yeah. Get to Agatha, confidence breaks a little bit, get to you, and now my confidence is gone. Red's probably going to lead off with maybe Charizard? Let's go Electrode. Oh, Voltsy, finally! Blue was the first one to defeat Lance. There's no good news. He's being massacred by Red, look! Go on, Blue, you got this! No, I can't be! You beat me at my best! After all that work to become the league champ! My reign's over already? It's not fair! Really feel for Blue, man. Champion for like five minutes. Why? Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Darn it, you're the new Pokemon League champion. Although I don't like to admit it. Red! So you've won! Sincerely, congratulations! You're the new Pokemon League champion. You've grown up so much since you first left with Charmander to work on the Pokedex. Red, you've come of age. Blue, I'm disappointed in you. I came when I heard you've uh, beaten the Elite Four. When I got here, you already lost. Blue, do you understand why you lost? You've forgotten to treat your Pokemon with love and trust. Without them, you'll never become a champ again. Red, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokemon is marvellous. Red, come with me. Hey, oh, wait a second. We're not going to fight Red? Blue, you, you okay? G Grandpa, wait, please. I did my best. I've treated my Pokemon with kindness and trust. Since the beginning, it's always been like this. I've never disappointed them. I've never treated them as a simple cards in a deck like Red does. After all I went through, the issues I had, I thought you'd be proud of me. Although I lost against Red, I thought you'd be proud of me for trying my best and that I have a team worthy of defeating the entire Elite Four. But that never happened, Grandpa. I see that you're the kind of person who leaves you dying on the floor if you're not the best. What happened here today it won't be a race for my memory. Blue, calm down. I saw the fight and you've improved a lot since the last time we battled. 
You achieve what you aim for. A strong and balanced Pokemon team, all at level 60. Don't blame yourself for not being able to defeat Red. His fighting style and the strength and energy of his Pokemon. It's unnatural. Voltsy, you're here. This can't finish like this. I'm so mad about that invincibility aura that surrounds Red. And enough of thinking he's the untouchable and immaculate trainer who never loses. Also acting mysterious without even uh, deigning to talk to you after trashing you in battle. That's so disrespectful. Voltsy, you have to defeat- Oh. The party's over kids. With a new champion. The Pokemon League challenge has finished. Huh? Hold on. Voltsy and I just defeated Elite 4 too. As Red did just a bit before with Blue. Both of us deserve a chance to fight against Red for the title. Because we've come this far. You're not exactly in condition to argue anything, girl. Uh oh. So you get away from here. You're ashamed to Oak and your family. Oh damn. So Bruno has informed us that uh, who you two are. Uh, both things, the Pokemon League and your freedom, ends right here and now. We have more than enough evidence to pros prosecute you for life for all your crimes. If you behave and don't resist, maybe we'll let you out in a couple of decades. Nine cops. So what do you mean? You should know. Who you're talking to. We've just beaten the Elite Four. Is that all you have? Come on, bring more. Ten? Twenty? Fifty? You'll need something else than that to bend our will and the will of our Pokemon. Insolent girl, don't dare. Heracross, close combat to the Hall of Fame's door. Ooh, wow, that Heracross has become even stronger. One attack. Voltsy, run. Voltsy, you enter in. I'll contain these amateurs. You don't have to fear, with me around. After seeing Red in action, I've realized that you're the only one with a chance to battle that steamroller that knocks down trainers like dominoes. In the name of Team Rocket, here's your chance. You're a completely different trainer than the ones who, who was defeated in Mount Moon. You've seen a Kanto that this Red will never have the privilege to know. I trust you and all the improvements you've made. Show him once and for all what you're worth. Alright, let's do it. Probably should save the game just in case. So it's official now. You're the new champion. You've accomplished the purpose that you were created for. I know why you're here, Rocket. You think crowning you as the champion, you'll gain enough influence to clean up the image of Team Rocket and restore autonomy to the population of Kanto. I know perfectly your boss. Uh, wanted to save the region at his own way and just brought ruin. He and his uh, city followers didn't realize that they approached everything the wrong way. Creating a Pokemon with overwhelming and uncontrollable power results in exactly that, being unable to control it. Instead, we left unexplored the most crucial aspect in the equation that leads to victory in battles. An unbeatable trainer, capable of independently making the best possible decisions regarding Pokemon capture, battle strategy, training, and allocation of items and moves, able to maximize a team of six Pokemon with the available resources. It's not that much better than uh, depending on just one Pokemon, hyper powerful, uh, that would be managed by the clumsy hands of a human susceptible to failure. To all the rest of mortals, Red will be considered unreachable, since he is the limit. I personally made sure he covers every possible variable that could affect battle. He's the perfect combination of technology and humanity. And most importantly, unlike Mewtwo, all its potential, the possibilities that it offers and its resources, is purposeless. No questions. Red is just an empty shell. Prepare to be prepared to be replaced by anyone, thereby enabling Red to assume the purpose of whoever handles him like a simple puppet. You'll understand then, the importance of having someone like him. With these characteristics in a world where absolutely everyone, as a universal principle, shuts up in front of you if you can defeat them in a battle. Becoming the champion of this silly game holds the same weight as the governor himself. Whoever controls Red has the power to change everything, to adapt to any situation, and ultimately emerge victorious at the end of the day. There is no poss possibility of escape. Don't you notice? No one, not even Lance, would win against Red long term, exposed to enough stimulus to perfect his team. Not even God has an answer for that question, Rocket. You'll not have a way to know it. So you want to stop me, even after all you've heard? Quite typical of criminals like you. They think they're free, with a choice, a capacity, and an entire world full of possibilities at their feet. Until reality knocks them down with a single stroke, without even giving them a time to understand what has happened. Just like the insect that is crushed in a second fraction. Excuse Red, entering the Hall of Fame was unique purpose. Beyond that, and once his purpose is finished, Nothing that occurs afterwards can be retained in his memory. It simply does not exist for him. Nevertheless, he keeps his combat functions. 
No one has even been close to defeating him. If that's what you want, you'll get what you're looking for. You're merely another pawn that I'll have to silence following our ridiculous combat code. Go ahead, Rocket. Face the wall that you'll never surpass, no matter how much your effort. Okay, let's go, Red. Let's do this, man. I love how like how Red gets treated in these games. It's so sick. All right, can we beat you? So Champion Red leads off a of Pikachu. All right, uh, level 67. All right, let's go to Nido King. Fake out, that's fine. We're gonna go Earthquake. You got Surf. Oh, that's not good. Okay, that's really not good. All right, I'm gonna go Vile Plume. Go for a Sleep Powder. Please don't kill me with Volt Tackle. That's fine, that's fine. All right, well, let's go Leech Seed. And because we're definitely gonna need Nido King, we best use this time to revive. And bring you back to full HP. Because we're definitely going to need it. Hyper Potion. That's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm going to Potion up because... Yeah, I think you're going to probably die. Oh, Forest Door! That's even better. Because now I can go Sleep Powder. Go for Giga Drain and we'll get fully healed. I've got to assume your team's like the, you know, the, the average team of like Snorlax, uh, Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur. Lapras. And there's the Charizard. Right, let's go Kabudops, because if I can get a Stone Edge off, you are super dead. Oh yeah, we're drawing. Okay, the Machamp. Oh, you got a little bit of a different team. Okay. Right, let's go Crobat. Oh no. Let's go Fly. Oh, we're gonna hurt ourselves, that sucks. Right, I'm gonna go Nido King. Let's go for a poison jab. Probably gone for Earthquake. It's fine. Electro should finish you off with Thunderbolt. Sweet. Snorlax. Uh, I'm gonna go into File Plume. Gonna Leech Seed you first. Oh, that paralysis sucks. Gonna get a Sleep Powder off. Oh, okay. Now you're paralyzed yourself. Right, what we'll do is I'm gonna go for the Revive. So I can just break break the Snorlax? Yeah. Let's go Toxic Spikes actually, just in case. And some more Toxic Spikes, got the uh, Leech Seed going. And you have Earthquake, which sucks. Again, I'm just going to revive Nido King. Revive Fire Plume, just in case. I'm very worried Red's going to be doing some scary stuff. Alright, Nido King. Brick break ya. It's not bad. Oh man, it still does a lot of damage. Right, I'm gonna go for a Giga Drain. Hopefully stay alive. Nice. Oh dude, the paralysis. So annoying. Come on, you gotta finish it off. Nice. Okay, Charizard coming out. Got Electrode. Thunderbolt, you nice. Nah, got the paralysis. Doesn't blast burn. You have to like recharge, right? Doesn't matter. Anyway, take you out. SPI, I can stay in. Go for leech life. Nice. And reflect. That's fine. That's fine. Another leech life. Finish you off. Last one's Lapras. Uh, gonna go to Houndoom. Gonna revive uh, Electrode. Thunderbolt. Got big damage, big damage. Not too bad. Just revive Electrode one more time. Oh, we actually live in the tank. Sweet. Should have finished off actually there, but it's all good. Whew. All right. We beat Red. That was a tough fight, though. Very tough. No, impossible. Inconceivable. You must not. You must not have won. Red was made uh, specifically for this. This is not any possible way that you could have defeated him with your resources you have and the Pokémon that you can catch in Kanto. There isn't any possible explanation. You, you. We have a deal, Oak. Oh, Lance. 
Oh, Lance, I I was a trainer beyond reach, unbeatable, unbeatable at anyone, capable of guaranteeing us a champion aligned with our interests, impossible to overthrow, and will maintain its said position for as long as we desire. That was what you said, Oak, when you convinced me to reopen the chance to win the league championship. You presented it to me as a way to bring back the illusion and hope to Kanto, along with a method to gain that difficult uh, loyalty and trust in the system. A brilliant strategy, Oak. This way, we could achieve our goals without getting deeply involved, as the league championship would be a little more than an illusion for any citizen. Already overwhelmed by an excessive work preventing them from excelling in anything beyond their daily lives, especially with a trainer like Red, a symbol of perfection and the ultimate strategist in combat. A statistically impossible feat to achieve in this region. It appears, Oak, that it hasn't even been a citizen who surpassed your experiment. It was a rocket, Oak. A rocket! Perhaps you underestimated the effects of that excessive work you spoke of as a performance inhibitor, at least for those capable of surviving it and redirecting it in the correct direction. Let me... let me let you explain. Uh, Lance, Red was not ready yet. Still needs to be exposed at... I've had enough of listening to you talk, Oak. I don't want assumptions, I want results. We'll handle this in my own way. I should advise myself that such a thing might occur when I employed a team of a few superior levels than, that I, uh, than I did with the other three competitors to quickly remove you from the competition. And still you came unscathed. Already had a sense that something like this could happen. But don't worry, I won't repeat that error. But what are you going to do? Oh. Okay. It's a secret room? We're, we're doomed. He is going to release the beat. Oh. Champion, Governor, both are just words. Who has the power rules the world. So why do you think people will love and venerate that much legendary Pokemon and pseudo legendaries? Yeah, we don't care where they come from. The only thing that they that we care about is that compared to the rest of Pokemon, they had a great and exceptional unique power. That's where its magic lies, in the unknown of that power. And in this case, it's inaccessible to the rest. As far as I know, science has not yet managed to reproduce the miraculous combination people have given rise to a legendary Pokemon. So many years of hard work to discover better fruits in nature, Oak. You were foolish to believe you could play with the rules of the game better than the creator of those rules. I'll do what I should have done a long time ago. Govern this region with no compassion. Who better than me? Lance, the greatest expert in the most sacred and powerful type that exists. The dragon. To assume that role. Concerning you. After crushing you like a simple insect, I'll publicly expose whatever is left of you and your team as an example and a warning of what awaits anyone daring to show the slightest insubordination against my government. Be positive, Rocket. You should be remembered as the one that made Lance the first use his sacred Pokemon just before the dawn of the new era of his, of his reign. There is no honour in beating up an opponent weakened by the hard way to this room. I want you to see how I crush your team at its peak. You understand once and for all that there are powers that mortals like you can only bow to them. I am the state. Okay, here we go. So this, I guess, this is Lance with his free Dragon Knights and free um, legendary beasts. Here we go, man. Right. I don't think we're gonna win this fight, but we will give it a go. I think I'll go light screen first. No way will this. Um, gotta go Nido King. I think I'm gonna go Toxic Spikes. Because that way, if I can just defeat this Dragonite, then I can maybe just. Oh man. This is not going well. If I can just beat this Dragonite, I can hopefully poison the rest and just go from there. So let's go another Toxic Spikes. Well, hurt yourself, that'd be great. Stand that confusion, never mind. Right. Uh, this is so bad, this is so bad. Hurt yourself? Nope, all you're doing is outrage. If you can hurt yourself once, we should be fine. Nice, okay. Go on. Nice! Woo! Right, another Dragon Knight. This is where it gets difficult. Um, I think I just have to go for Poison Jab. Oh, you've got Earthquake. I'm not winning this. There's no way I win this. What do I even do? I think I can get through the 
Dragon Knights I can win, but I just, I don't see me winning this. What happens when I lose? Am I supposed to lose? Okay, I have to, I have to win that. Oh, this is going to be difficult. This is going to be so difficult. Alright, I am back, Lance. I've done a lot of grinding. Hopefully now we can win. I hope. Nido King, it's up to you. So we're going to poison jab. I also taught Nido King toxic. Thinking if I have to, I still get one shot. That's not good. That's really not good. Alright, what I'll do is I'll go Electrode, I'm going to go Screech. Alright, and now you're confused. I'm going to go into Houndoom. I think Houndoom's going to be kind of useless for this fight. Revive Nido King. And I'm going to just Poison Jab. Now your defense is down. Go on, take it out. Nice. Alright, that's one Dragonite down. Can I outspeed this one though? Toxic. We can. Sweet. Still not great though. Uh, I'm going to revive Electrode. I think I can outspeed it, so we'll go for Screech. Nice. Vile Plume, then we got to revive Nido King. You might go for Full Restore, so we'll go for Poison Jab. Sweet. Okay, it's two Dragonites down. Suicune. Uh, Suicune, I think I'll have to revive Electrode. Got Ice Beam, of course. It might be a good idea to Light Screen first. Then we heal up. Right, this is our chance to start reviving everyone because we still got another Dragonite to deal with and you get a critical hit. Come on, man. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. I'm gonna poison jab ya. Good damage. Uh, let's fly. Light screen wore off, but you're gonna 100% full restore. Yeah. Do this. Oh, I actually lived? That's great. Gives me a chance to revive again. Because then we go to Electrode, Light Screen, and we heal up. Right, this is our chance to get back into it, and that special defense drop sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, Nido King, Poison Jab. Gonna go to Leech Life, get a bit of HP back. Not as much as I was hoping it would do. Fly, finish it off. Oh, you just lived though. You just lived. Another four store. It sucks, but it's the only way we can win. I thought all these like levels I got, I was thinking, oh man, I can beat Lance this time, and <laughs> no, he's still very, very strong. Uh, like Crobat. Light screen more off, so we'll go for another light screen. And then Crobat. Fly. Fly, finish it off. Again, just a little bit of HP, but we can just live. And I'll fly, finish you off there. Raikou. We got to just go for an earthquake, surely. Hopefully, live this. Oh, just about. I thought I was going to die. Yes! Okay. Light screen, we're off. I need to outspeed this Dragonite. Toxic. Nice! Okay, okay, we can win this, we can win this. Now it's just the fun part of uh, <laughs> reviving again, because I do. <laughs> Let me tell you, nothing. Uh, right. Okay, sweet. Then Entei, the last one. Uh, I'm gonna... I don't think I outspeed you, that's the issue. I'm thinking, do I go for Screech? No, because that doesn't give me much chance. I think what I'll do... Entei looks like it's gonna be physical. So if I can get the Spore effect from Vileplume, that'd be kind of sick. Depends, if Nido King can live an attack, then we're fine, but I don't think it does. Flavus only has, what, 5 PP, so I should be fine for a little bit. Come on. Nope. Flippus has a lot of PP. Yes, there we go. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. We needed that so bad. So now I can go for Earthquake. 
die, die, die. Go on, go on. There we go. Oh my god, that fight was insanely difficult. Well, the good thing about this game is you get a lot of money and you can keep grinding more, but I just thought being like, if I got to like 80, 90, I'd be super over leveled. I think even if I was 80, 90, maybe even 100, that would still be difficult. This can't be. No one stood a chance against my best Pokemon. They're the best around. There's nothing better to be found in all of Kanto. You're wrong, Lance. <laughs> Giovanni. Your ego and arrogance have led to your downfall. While you were complacent in the safety of a power whose origin you were unaware of, others uh, toiled tirelessly, we knew your limits, and strove day by day to forge an even greater power. With no necess necessity at feeding your power, it is weakened. And during this time, our greatest motivation was to challenge your tyranny. Now, it's time for you to return to the nature that belongs to it. Entei, Raikou, Suicune! Faulty, never thought you could go this far. As soon as Andro notified me of the situation and your achievement in the Hall of Fame, I chose to come personally, even at the risk of attracting media attention. You've proven the invaluable worth of properly trained Pokemon. Regardless of their origin, you've made them a, a totally a, you've made them a totally champion capable of overcoming any situation. Those who thought they had control over everything in their surroundings simplified everything to a simple equation. And those who played the role of gods, thinking themselves superior to the rest simply by being born that way. You've proven that, in the end, nothing exceeds the action driven by an unbreakable will to achieve an objective. Faulty, only someone like you deserves a place in the history books, immortalizing the Hall of Fame. Nothing will be the same after this. Hey, don't mind if I do. Sweet. I like the music there, it's so sick. So what's gonna happen now? So I assume that's the end of like, the Kanto arc, because we know there's um, the Sevi Islands, which, is, which has been translated, and there's also Johto and Hoenn to come, which will hopefully come by summer. But this game's an absolute banger, man. Absolute banger. Look at our team. I mean, Nido King was definitely MVP. Nido King saved their day against them Dragon Knights. Whew. Nido King's an absolute monster. I think, though... If the game's going to be that level of difficulty going forward, maybe we should switch the team up a little bit. I'm definitely going to keep Crobax as our starter. And I'm going to keep um, Nidoking, because Nidoking was insane. That's just the, um, obviously, Pokemon Emerald credits. We can just skip past this, because it doesn't matter. So we're just the same. The end. Or is it? So let's continue what happens next. I don't know. I'm going to assume we go and see uh, Giovanni. But I think it's probably a great place to end this part off. Next episode, we see what happens and I maybe start the Sevi Islands arc. I don't know. I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.